she's a choreographer, one of the best in the world. The name is Karan Lehman. When I, I met you many years ago, mm -hmm. I heard you were doing some work in a, in a, in a theater, and then I was involved with the, that theater too. And then I, I and people say, "Oh, this is Quran. She's she does not fool around." <laughs> <laughs> you know I, mean? I mean, because the people talk about you know right. talking about, about who, how you act. And then, but see, that's so took you in many in many avenues and many roads. Like uh, uh, the, the, you said, uh, we talk about Fred Astaire. Mm -hmm. What's what that movement there? Or? Well, it was my first television job. Uh, a choreographer, John Hansen, Tom Hansen. Oof, that was years ago, um, wanted me to get into TV. After mm -hmm. I stopped doing things on the road, he said, you've got you've to gotta get on TV. And he brought me in, and I auditioned for the producers, and he choreographed a show, Red, White, and Blue, or something like that. It was a tribute to uh, Fred Astaire, and Michelle Lee was in it. And um, I got the job and did about four dance numbers with other dancers, and it was my beginning of... Having a fruitful career uh, uh, on TV. On TV, yeah, because like uh, in your case, like some people they say, well, I don't want to get involved with the television. Right. Involved. This, I, I feel that's a well, uh, I, we, the struggle that we have, with black people, mm -hmm. uh, and business, you know, is so big, so huge, and uh, we have to be careful about that situation too, because if we don't show what we are, it, to me, like a, a, a very responsible artist can play anything, can do it, can do it anywhere, right. anything, in the park and yeah, everywhere. Because we need uh, to be exposed. For example, let's talk about a little bit about that situation. Uh, you know, I know that with the uh, career that you have, you face a lot of uh, uh, barriers. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, yes. you have to overdo. You have to do over and over and over much more mm -hmm. than, let's say, a person that doesn't have like a, a black person. Mm -hmm. Does not is not discriminated in society. Uh, that's the system. You know, we right. don't blame anybody specific, but the system is that, that way. So tell me about any struggle that you feel like directly uh, to you. Well, my biggest struggle is growing up as a, a dancer thinking that I was going to be a ballet dancer because that, that really was my goal, my forte, my training. And uh, once I left the first teacher who was a black teacher, she introduced me to a Russian teacher from Russia. Who yeah. I was really, to yeah, he Ergles Maltsov. He really nurtured my my talent to another degree, and trained me to be a very good dancer. And his dream was that I became a ballerina, and that was mine as well. And growing up in an environment where everybody, you know, said you can do it, you can do it, you could do it, I really didn't know all the prejudices that would stop me. Mm -hmm. And so I went to New York, and I auditioned for. A very important company that I wanted to be in and uh, at that time growing up they just were not accepting black dancers in their company and that was probably the biggest disappointment in my life because then I I felt left out and didn't know what to do with it but there was a teacher Thelma Hill who's no longer alive she's from New York kind of pulled me over to the side and said you know dance is big you know don't stop there you know, mm -hmm. find where you do fit. Create a create an avenue at some point. You know, continue to grow. Don't don't let that door stop you from living your life happily. And it really stuck with me and I and I said, That's good. So al although I only knew ballet, I started going other directions and started studying modern, started studying jazz, started studying, you know, other forms of dance and just brought it all together. And created my own style of dance, and um, just made a, a door for myself. You know? Amazing, amazing. You know, so your family, you have like a, you have a, a you have a, a, a your family was very supportive of mm, you. Oh, still is. Everybody's so supportive. Yeah. You have no problem with that. Not Always very well treated there. Not but a bit. then when you come, then you find the system. Yes. The system is like well, you know, and then you, that of course uh, you had to kind of divert a little bit your your sense of direction. And end up being what you are, which I'll tell the truth. Well, <laughs> considering the whole difficulties that you've been having, you know, you have like, uh, hey, you are doing great, yeah. you know what I mean? And uh, of course, like, but sometimes it gives, it gives us a little bit of uh, frustration mm -hmm. because I feel, well, we feel like, well, that frustration is always part of also our drama, uh, part of our, our, our emotions, mm -hmm. and also goes into our work too. Exactly. Because, well, I wonder 
how would be if the world was like we know with this prejudice, you know, this racism mm -hmm. and, and things? How about you know, because like I, I always like I feel like when somebody is a so, such an essence artist, always we become to a new, neutral point. I have mm -hmm. to say I because I mean I, mm -hmm. I've been in this crowd too, so. I we feel like well you know we feel like a neutral about this racism situation mm -hmm. because even though we have to portray what we are because that is what we are anyway mm -hmm. but are we for example Beethoven Chopin I don't believe they were racist people when it came to that point that they say wait a minute they know mm -hmm. what's going on they know that's the, the beauty the great artist it has to be good and great in every direction. The difference between the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So, and, they, and I'm sure those people, Einstein, and those people come into a great spot, mm -hmm. like we do. And I, I'm very clear about mm -hmm. that. That's why I called you genius from the beginning, mm -hmm. because you are it. So, and, and uh, when we come to this point, we don't have, we don't have like uh, this problem in there. Mm -hmm. So, the, it's a system, it's some kind of a, uh, sickness right. that goes around and people are ignorance, total mm -hmm. ignorance. They think that's the way it is. No, it's not because I know all those white, uh, whatever, Caucasian mm -hmm. artists, you know, Beethoven, Chopin, Debussy, all those people. Uh, I don't believe they were like a. No, they were, when it comes to that point, you have to be so neutral and you see beauty, you see God, you see everything, mm -hmm. and then you got even with mm -hmm. everything. Then you have a real world. The real world, you know, and then I feel like, well, that's a uh, hope that I feel that every child could think about that and then mm -hmm. say, hey, let's go. You're going to have barriers and everything, but we're going to move on. I have, um, of course, give, give me like a Quincy Jones. What's the relationship with Quincy Jones? Because then I see his uh, own yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was Claude Thompson. Uh, Claude Thompson needed a dancer to go uh, on the road a couple of places with their band, their orchestra at that time. I mm -hmm. think it was, it was huge. It, we performed in Vegas at, uh, I don't remember the name of the theater, it was a brand new theater, it wasn't a nightclub. And uh, we also performed at the uh, Shrine Auditorium here. And that, I was just a feature dancer on the show, it was just uh, a wonderful, I mean, anytime you dance with live music, <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. and Quincy Jones, you know, I mean, that yeah. was a thrill, you yes. know, it was... Excellent. I love his music. Yeah, he's excellent, yeah. So, uh, there's, there's something that's happened to your to your to your career mm. right now that uh, that I we're gonna talk now about. It's uh, you were uh, now you involved with this show here, which is you're gonna talk <laughs> about. I'm gonna show the poster. <laughs> okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, what's which one I'm gonna? Wait, wait, okay. Dance kaleidoscope. Mm. Dance kaleidoscope is. Uh, gosh, how can I start? Years ago, it showcased down uh, choreographers. And um, it, it wasn't doing as well as it should have. It was at the pilgrimage also. And they decided that they wanted to discontinue it completely. It just wasn't branching out far enough to enough people. Um, about five years ago, Don Hewitt, who is the artistic director of Kaleidoscope, decided he wanted to bring it back. And, you know, met with the boards and got it okayed. And, they said the stipulation is they would open it up to a multicultural type mm -hmm. avenue. And what they did, uh, they have auditions, and they have a panel of professionals, and they pick X amount of people. In This year, I think there were 300 people that auditioned. And 300 companies? 300 companies. And they narrowed it down to um, 30 companies, I believe. Wow. And um, and you you are you my are, company. Your company, the is Lehman in it. Dance Company, is in it. Yes. Wow. What's the name of the piece again? The, the piece books? is exposing the womb, the beginning Tell of about healing. That. This I know is heavy. Yes, it's very heavy. When I first decided to choreograph this piece, I knew I was going to choreograph it with the understanding that I'd be auditioning for Kaleidoscope, and I wanted to f find a place in the choreography world, choreographic world, where, how do I want to be represented? Well, I'm an emotional choreographer. You know, I'm either choreographing something about aliens or, or goblins, you know, very mystic type. But I thought, you know, yeah, I can do that too, but I, I have to introduce myself as who I am. So I wanted to do something dramatic. Um, years ago, I was involved in an organization called the Free Arts Clinic, which was an organization that taught battered children fine arts. Mm -hmm. And I taught 
the children there. So when I decided to choreograph the piece and I finally decided that it was going to be dealing with child abuse, 